A West Michigan man fired from his job at Walmart after testing positive for a prescription drug, marijuana. The firing causing quite a firestorm in Battle Creek. 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson has more information on how people are protesting there. Danny? Well, Larry, Joseph, Joseph Casillas says he was a model Walmart employee, and that's the reason that he's fighting this termination. Now, the law isn't exactly clear on this issue. In one place, it says that people using medical marijuana shall not be punished by a business if they are using it properly. But then again, in another place, it says that businesses should not have to accommodate employees working under the influence of marijuana. Now, Casillas, who did test positive for a controlled substance, and his new so newfound support, Reporters say they're not giving up the fight. So I a medication and I have a legal right to take. Why should I lose my job for that? Especially when I gave everything I had for it. I'm trying to be a role model employee. That's why Joseph Casillas and dozens of others are protesting his firing for testing positive for marijuana that he had a prescription for just outside of the Battle Creek Walmart where he used to work. Overwhelming. And I feel very blessed. At the same time, you know, all these people gave up their time to fight for this effort. Casillas has an inoperable brain tumor and sinus cancer and says medical marijuana is the only thing that gets him through the tough times. I'm just trying to control my pain. I mean, that's the only thing I'm trying to do here. Stop the pain. I'm not an abuser of the job or anything like that. Casillas swears he didn't use marijuana on the job or before work during his five years at Walmart. But even so, Walmart told 24-Hour News 8 in a written statement, in states such as Michigan, where prescriptions for marijuana can be obtained, an employer can still enforce a policy that requires termination of employment following a positive drug screen. We believe our policy complies with the law, and we support decisions based on the policy. Too bad. If they have a policy against, uh, say, black people or against promoting women, if they had a policy against other groups, would we just say, well, that's okay, Walmart? I, I think employees should be judged by the quality of their work, not by the quality of their urine. Both Casillas and the Michigan Medical Marijuana Association say they plan to keep fighting for Casillas' job back, an apology, and a change of policy. How long are you going to keep protesting? Until they change your policy. Now, Casillas actually told us that if Walmart did offer him his job back right now, he doesn't know if he would take it back at this point. Now, he also says he is debating just how far he and his family want to take the issue, but members of the Michigan Medical Marijuana Group did tell 24-Hour News 8 that the ACLU is aware of this issue. For now at the Live Desk, Danny Carlson, 24-Hour News 8.